Association of Music Merchants convention for winter of 2018. I'm here with my buddy Elliot. Say hi, Elliot. Hey, Elliot. So technically, I'm, I'm media. That's what my badge says. And uh, I'm going to make them regret ever giving me a media badge. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> they were ready for me this year. Like for instance, sh posting on YouTube. No! Thank God that this year, Hal Leonard has every real book available. We have the Real Jazz Solos book. So if you want to play real jazz solos, you can buy this book. is exactly that awkward. I don't know what to do with my hands. What do I do with my hands? I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. Bitwave modulator. Uh, but right now we're in crush mode. That sounds awesome. You know the lick? Oh, I do know the lick. <laughs> You spelled my name wrong. Pictured here is me with my bass. There's literally nobody manning the Berkeley booth. Tuition dollars at work right here. <laughs> Tuition dollars. Good job, Berkeley. Good job. The memes have followed me to California. Order for Adam! Thank you. Oh, Neely! Yo! Hi! <laughs> Thanks, man. Stairs, apparently. I don't want to let my sugar, blood sugar drop. Yeah, that's that's the reason. I don't want to. I will say that it is really cool being able to like walk around and see like the you know Marcus Miller and everything. 
but the people that I'm really interested in seeing. Oh, not you again. Oh no. The worst my gas has ever been. We need like. <laughs> and then there's just lots of weird grunting noises. Yeah. And people are like looking at me funny. Is that, is that, is that <laughs> Gentlemen, sir. Tyler plays bass too. I'm so sorry. Oh, Glenn, the homeless looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember at convention centers, uh, go to the hotel next door and uh, there will be a bathroom that is a lot nicer to poop in. You don't blow up our spot, please. We're not telling you which hotel <laughs> we just pooped in. Any hotel. Really doesn't matter. Okay, so that was my official coverage of NAM 2018. I have now officially done my job as a journalist, so... There we go. I suppose I should say like what trends I saw. I mean, there's a ton of pedal manufacturers that are doing cool things as usual, trying to expand what pedals can mean and what you can do creatively in the confines of a guitar pedal. I mean, there's also like a bunch of Chinese manufacturers. That's going to be a thing that just continues to grow in the years to come. But the thing that kind of like stuck with me the most was something that a friend of mine said over a drink. She works in marketing for Isotope, which is a plug-in company. They do like Ozone and RX and all that stuff. And she said that the music industry is 10 to 15 years behind the consumer electronics industry. So all of the nascent technology like say VR and augmented reality and maybe things like machine learning and like deep learning, all that good stuff, that's not represented in the music industry at all and won't be for another decade. People wielding technology in the music industry are weirdly obsessed with trying to replicate analog circuits from the 1960s and 1970s using digital DSP technology, and they have been for a while now. Rather than looking to the future and seeing what we can use with new technologies from consumer electronics and try and apply it to music making. There are companies which are looking forward for sure. I mean, Isotope is one. My friend is completely biased in saying that, of course, but there are other companies like, say, Ableton. I was able to check out like a private closed door session where they were demoing different like features from Live 10 and that was really really cool. Utilize the trajectory of the the morphing on these wavetables. So this is this is also new in Live 10 are these visualizations from Push. You can see all of the MIDI that I played has been recorded and I can go back to adjust the loop length and the loop position to get exactly what I want. But in terms of like representation of these companies at an event like NAM, which is supposed to be the grand representation of everything that the music industry has to offer, I mean, Isotope was in a van behind the food trucks behind the main hall, and Ableton didn't have any booth. It was just like a small private like showing room. <laughs> you compare that to something like the giant behemoth of a booth that Korg had, for example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I really want to see the technologies that are already here applied in a broad way across the music industry, trying to like redefine how we actually interact with the technology that so defines how we make music. And yeah, I mean, I guess it is cool to be like, oh, let's check out like the new 18 string guitar or whatever that goes viral across all social media platforms, but that's not really moving the industry forward. We can do better than this, guys. We definitely can. And uh, yeah. That is my true critique. That is my true reporting on NAM. Um, see you next year.